So ladies and gentlemen, this is the Resident Evil 3 Remakes Collector's Edition. I'm currently in Hong Kong right now, so they do call it Biohazard as well. So, so this is the completely new, and we are gonna unbox it together. All right, so here we go. So this is pretty fresh, actually. So yeah, as you can see, they also call it Resident Evil 3. So the box is actually pretty similar to the Resident Evil 2 Remix Collector's Edition from last year. And here's the comparison. It's almost identical, it's just different colors. And then on the top, there's a, there's a RPD Raccoon Police Department's icon or logo. Uh, because it was uh, based around Leon. And then we have Star's logo here. This time for Resident Evil 3 because more related to Joe. They also take the appearance of the item box in the game. So, um, just different colors compared to last year. Open Sesame! So once you open the box, you have this uh, Resident Evil 3 special soundtrack along with a uh, Resident Evil Resistance soundtrack as well. And then here we have it ladies and gentlemen, this is the Resident Evil 3. And it also comes with the classic costume pack. The costume from the original Resident Evil 3 game. But anyways, so what's underneath this? I am pretty excited as well. Project N, I'm guessing, is related to Nemesis. So they also came with the Raccoon City map. Uh, I think this map will be kind of useful, but then I don't know if I'm gonna actually use this while I'm playing the game. So here we have it. We have like markings telling you where the stuff are, I guess. And on the back of this map, there's um, a bunch of uh, advertisements in the game. And there you have it, the umbrella advertisements. And Mr. Raccoon here. I heard you have to like shoot them all in the game. You have to find like little Mr. Raccoon statues in the game and then you shoot them to get points or something. I am not sure yet. Okay, let's put this aside. So what the hell is Project N? And there's also a Project R at the back. And it's an art book. It's a reading to kids at school. So we have like different locations of Raccoon City. Uh, just like photos of like survivors and zombies. Oh, zombie dogs are in this actually. I think this is the new spider in the game then. And then we have Nemesis right here. Nemesis. And then we have Joe Valentine. Our main star of the game, pretty much. It's just an art book. Oh, so the other half of the book is actually Project Resistant. The game that comes along with the Resident Evil 3. And also we have Alex Wesker right here. So this is a pretty nice looking collectible art book. So I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna take this out to read. Like who would actually. So these are all the minor stuff from the contest edition. Other than the game, which is very very important. And as everyone know about this? Joe Valentine's figurine. Like the Resident Evil 2 Remakes Collector's Edition, it comes with a really nice looking figurine of our main character. Okay, let's take this out. Holy sh Ready? Come on out, come on out, come on out. This is amazing! Oh. It's actually frozen! I'm gonna open her! God, come on! Yeah! Oh. oh my god, the details are amazing! So you actually can't move her around. And we have the little pistol right here. So it's actually pretty weird. If you actually can't move the figurine, then why do you need to separate her from the gun? 
Like, it's actually pretty stiff. I don't want to like shove the gun inside just to make her fit. And then we have the stand at the back. So the so the top of the stand is actually pretty nice. There's a glossy and a sanded texture. At the front you have Joe Valentine's name. <laughs> so this is actually super super awesome. Look at this, eh? So I am gonna bring out the Resident Evil 2 Remix Collector's Edition's Leon's figurine for comparison. So compared to the Leon figurine that we got from the Resident Evil 2 uh, Collector's Edition from last year, uh, there's actually one more parts to it. Uh, Leon actually has the flashlight as well. Same thing, the, the gun and the and his hand separated. So we have the stand right here with Leon's name on it. So here we have it, the two figurines right here together for your comparison. They're actually pretty nice standing together actually. But then the only thing is these two characters have, have never met in the Resident Evil gaming universe because Joe only appeared in Resident Evil 1, 3, and 5 and Leon appeared in 2, 4, 6. So there's never a chance where they're actually like together in the same scene. So the figure is like super detailed. You can actually see the texture on her jeans and her face looks like Joe. Uh, you, you can that was her. It's not those like weird looking figurines, and uh, the the proportion is amazing. Like it, it matches like the Leon figurine we got from last year. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. This is the Resident Evil 3 uh, Remix Collector's Edition. We have uh, Joe Valentine's figurine. We have the actual game, uh, the soundtracks, the art book, and the new Raccoon City map item box box so I got this in Hong Kong for a thousand five hundred dollars as a Resident Evil fan obviously I'm gonna buy it at no matter how much the price is but then um, to me I think this is really worth it especially because all the money's on this little figurine right here you cannot buy it anywhere else uh, this only comes in the collector's edition so um, this is why the whole thing is so expensive because uh, we have this really high detail looking uh, figurine of Joe Valentine so here we have it, this is Resident Evil 3 Remakes Collector's Edition Asia version. <laughs> <laughs>